Hi, Fire Signs. My name is Debbie, and I'm an intuitive reader. And I'm here today to give you guys your weeklies for this coming week of June 2nd until the 8th, 2024. Please keep in mind that this is a general reading, so if you are interested in your own private reading, all that information as well as the Amazon links to my books are down below in the description box below. So let's get started here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Allergies, man. Uh, we're going to start off first for Leo at 30 seconds. All right. So, whoa. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Free. They freed themselves. I literally heard that. I feel that they were, it's kind of, they're showing me the leprechaun from uh, Lucky Charms. Uh, it It's magically delicious. <laughs> Isn't that what he says? Oh, that is so weird. I was not even allowed to eat that stuff when I was a kid. So <laughs> that's pretty good for me to remember that one. Uh, but yeah. So I feel like this leaving, this ghosting just came out of nowhere. He wanted this happiness here. But what really happened is he found out later. I hate to put gender on this. It could be a woman here as well. Uh, but I feel whomever ghosted you, okay, uh, the minute that they left, they thought that they were free, okay, their lucky pot of gold here, or whatever, to leave, whatever. Uh, I feel that they have the seven of wands here, so it, they immediately got frustrated, they regretted it, and now they want to return with that eight of wands. They want to put things at peace here, they want to start over here with two aces, it's time. Definitely, I feel after kind of waiting for quite some time, with that Nine of Pentacles, it's time, okay, with two Aces, Ace of Cups, Ace of Wands, after quite an ordeal of waiting again with that Temperance. Now, you could be dealing with Sag here, okay, <clears throat> but I feel that they, excuse me, <clears throat> have definitely kind of con contemplated, contemplated, sorry, uh, with their thoughts here, and they regret their decision for walking away, so... Let's do the above and below here. You got the eight of cups and the seven and the uh, four of swords here. So, you know, after walking away, they really thought about things. They calmed down. They could have been in it like a, there could have been like an argument, a fight of some sort. But regardless, they still feel that connection with you here. And they want a new start of love in this relationship with the high priestess and the ace of cups. With the Six of Swords and the Ace of Wands, it could get a little intense, okay, is what that says with this communication coming on in. <clears throat> Excuse me, Leo, I'm so sorry. With the Seven of Wands and the Nine of Pentacles, it's been frustrating and kind of waiting for their return, I feel. And I do feel it's going to come out of nowhere after a lengthy time of waiting with the Eight of Wands and the Temperance here. With the Outcomes... Uh, being the Magician, the Seven of Pentacles, and the Three of Wands. Eh, I feel a little bit of, <laughs> I like that reaction. Eh. Uh, I feel a little bit of discouragement, not really uh, sure if they can get you back here. Hesitancy, you know, if they can work out to uh, their making here, you know, they thought about things with that Magician, and there's a little bit of lack of confidence with getting you back. So that is what I have. So be on the lookout. It is definitely time, I feel, for somebody out there after quite an ordeal of waiting with those two aces and that nine of pentacles present. All right, moving on to Aries. 355 we'll put here for Aries. I am on Puppy Patrol Aries. So if you hear a dog barking, uh, the 14-year-old is at a sleepover. <laughs> so yeah <clears throat> my little helper left that's okay he just watches the dogs while I work sometimes uh okay so for Aries here I literally heard hot and cold now you could be dealing with a Gemini I just heard I just I just heard Gemini uh, but I, I was going to say, yes, this has been very hot. This is very cold. They don't know what to do here. I feel like they're going to stay away from the devil. Uh, and I clarified the devil with the judgment, which is a very spiritual card. Okay. And there's Mr. King of Swords wanting to come back, looking at the signs here. And I feel that there's an apology 
spunky little gentleman here, I feel, you know. Uh, now he's going to kind of be walking on all fours, you know, on hands and knees here with that page of pentacles, okay, communication. But then as soon as he they get the approval from you that you're ready to put the work back in, and so are they, obviously, it's going to take off like fire, all right. Uh, I do feel that they miss you here. There's a little bit of confusion from you whether or not, you know, am I doing the right move here by taking them back? Are they blowing smoke up my yin-yang here? But they do make me happy. I'm going to stop fighting in my mind here. I'm just going to listen to them and hear them out and speak my mind as well. And that's how I feel like it's going to roll to get this completion of balance. There's a lot of work, okay? Um, you know, with the Eight of Pentacles looking away from the Ten of Pentacles, that tells me it's going to take that communication, that work to bring back total balance with the Ten of Pentacles behind. But that, you know, that's kind of looking away tells me that there's still a little bit more work to be done in this relationship. It's not as quickly as they would like here. You can see the energy of fastness. Let's get on it, you know, kind of energy. Let's fix this already. So you have the sun and the moon, interesting. So that to me, especially with the two of pentacles, it's kind of like, are you coming back or aren't you coming back? And their decision making is in regards to, do I return? How do I return? I'm not going to return. Going back and forth, indecision basically, which is wild because normally that's with the two of swords here. So the devil, as well as the two of pentacles, you know, so they made a decision. They're not really sure, you know, for quite some time what to do. But the good thing is I clarified that devil energy with the king of swords looking over at that judgment. They're taking the higher road. They're taking the right path, okay? They see the light of this situation, of this relationship here. And they're going to be coming back after becoming quiet and communicate. Could be definitely an apology here. I do feel for a majority of you, you will. With that page of pentacles and the four of pentacles here. With the nine of wands and the five of wands, this tells me, let's just get it out in the open. Let's, let's, let's take it out. You know, let's take it outside. You want a piece of this, you know, ha duke it out, you know, kind of energy here. I'm ready. It's not going to be a fight. Okay. I'm not feeling that at all. Okay. I just feel like they're very eager to get back on track with you again, because they do miss you. And I do feel they are going to tell you that with the Three of Swords and the Ace of Swords. Now, combined like that, that's healing energy, that's calming the situation. Like I said, it's going to take some work and some good communication to patch this back up again, but at least they see the light here of the situation. They're no longer, you know, good always conquers over anything evil, you know, uh, especially when you pray about it, <laughs> you know, uh, but definitely they see the light of the situation and they're walking towards the right path, which is you, Aries. So that is what I have for the sign of Aries. And moving on to Sagittarius. Sagittarius is 825. We'll put here for Sag. Hope you guys are doing good. This is for June 2nd until the 8th, 2024 for Sagittarius. Yeah. Okay. So you got the five of wands and the eight and the, sorry, and that they're making me out already. And the three of wands here. So yes, added together, that would be the eight of wands. Okay. I feel like this is your mind spinning, okay, out of control, Sag. I feel that you put the blame on yourself. You know, you could have done absolutely nothing wrong and you're still putting the blame on yourself. You know what I mean? I, I do that. I do that. It's okay. You know, but I feel like you need to kind of move past that energy and stop blaming yourself. You know, regain that positiveness saying everything's fine you know I just gotta wait it's like talking pep talking yourself okay and you have been waiting you have two waiting cards of temperance here as well as the nine of uh pentacles here that's interesting the eight of wands which is what is added together with the five and the three of wands here it just came out so again and it's right underneath that three of wands so uh definitely I feel that uh you know oh that's uh 
Oh, nice. That's 11. So there's that divine energy kicking on in here, but it's so frustrating. But, and you know, but you know about, I mean, you understand about divine timing. You understand that it all takes time, you know, when the right time is the right time. Okay. And, and you know this, you know, <clears throat> excuse me. And you know this, correct. But, but it's just like that length of time waiting for this return of this person back into your life again. But I do feel this huge battle of this is never going to happen. This is all my fault. Uh, -uh, mm -mm, mm -mm. uh, I used to be, uh, I used to be a story time. I used to be data entry clerk back in the day. I was, that was my very first job. I actually loved it. Uh, and, but when they didn't have any, I worked for a U.S. and foreign patent office uh, and that's what I used to type up. It was quite interesting, if, especially if you want to know about how to install a light bulb inside your toilet. <laughs> Sorry, Sudge. Uh, but anyway, it was interesting. Uh, but yeah, so when they ran out of work here, they, they had me proofreading. I, I, I don't like reading. <laughs> Bad job to give me on the side to, you know. Uh, so that's what I did. And, but... Uh, I was a hot mess, you know, and, and I knew that I couldn't do it right, you know, and I had to kind of knock that thought out of there, you know, I had to correct the situation in my mind that, you know, I, I, I was convinced I was going to mess some, I was going to miss something, I was going to mess something up, uh -uh, no, I did fine, you know. Uh, of course, they have higher ups that re-recheck re things, of course, but yeah, so I digressed. So I do feel that just to settle your mind and move away from those thoughts, release that, turn to source for that. I just heard medication of meditation. Hey, that's a, I need to make a bumper sticker like that. That is cool. Oh, can I, can I patent that? Uh, but yeah, I know an office, uh, but yeah, so definitely calm your mind here, move away and away from the, the stress of it all, beating yourself up here. Try meditation is what this tells me, but don't brutally beat yourself up. You know, uh, I think the whole place knew basically that I couldn't stand reading. <laughs> That's all I did when you proofread, but yeah, it was an interesting job, but I didn't mean to digress like that, but yeah, there was a point to that, you know? Uh, but yeah, you get past it and you start believing in yourself. And that's what I feel needs to be done here. And that's what I have for not just Sag, but for all the fire signs out there. Thank you all for uh, watching. I do appreciate it. As always, you guys rock. Have a good one. Have a great week and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.